Hello YouTube, today another video and today I'm going to answer a few of the most frequently asked questions. So the first question is how to update HomeKit Infused to a newer version and that's pretty easy. You just go to the repository and click on releases and get the latest release from our repository. Click on download and download it somewhere doesn't really matter and then you will open your home assistant folder like so and, re and replace the packages and the HKI base folder do not replace anything else just those two folders overwrite yes and restart home assistant that's how you update HomeKit Infused 5 if you used HomeKit Infused in the past uh, and you're still on version 4 or below, you cannot directly upgrade. You will have to start from scratch. Uh, for every future update, however, you will only need to replace those two folders, unless there are breaking changes. But these happen very often. The second question is, what if I get an error on this notification bar here? And the error I'm talking about uh, is called error t.setconfig is not a function. If you see this error, all you need to do is reinstall swipe card. So go to hacks, click on front end, find swipe card, and then click on redownload. Wait for it to load, click on download, reload it. and your problem should have been solved. The third question I get often is where to change this line over here. It says good night. You probably want to use your own native language. Click on your profile menu, go to the HKI settings and then find the header greeting on the right side and change the parameters there. So if I say um, it's night right now, so I said Gute Nacht, which is Dutch for good night. If I go and look now, it says Gute Nacht. And the last question for this video is what if these pop-ups do not work? So these pop-ups should work by default after having installed button card and browser mod. However, uh, unfortunately, um, in the last few weeks um, the latest update for button card has been pulled from the repo or at least the release has been pulled from the repo which means you cannot download button card 3.4 or 3.5 or something like that from um, within hacks so you can see here it says 3.4.1 3 which is the latest button card um, currently available and unfortunately this card is too old to run correctly with HomeKit Infused. So if you have this version 3.4.1 you will need to get the fix from my repository. Go to the HomeKit Infused repository, click on Docs, click on Fixes and you will see two files that you can replace in your own setup. It will show here where you have to do it and how you have to do it, but for the sake of this video I'll show you how to do it. You will go and open the www folder, click on community, click on button card and you'll see those two files in there. Now download these two files from a repository and replace the old files with the one from my repository. Once you're done you can restart home assistant and you'll have the correct version. Note that it will still say 3.4.1 over here, but the uh, pop-ups should work correctly now. You can check this as well by pressing F12 and go to the console and check the button card version over here. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a good day. Cheers.